Hello everyone, my name is Michael Fan and Still. Uh, I'm so very excited to be with you today, to join with you, and for you to uh, join with me for a few minutes. And uh, we're just here to talk about, uh, I just want to take the time to talk about how excited I am in my heart for what God is doing in Pakistan. God, I see God doing uh, amazing things over there, and we've been asked by pastors in Pakistan to join with you in prayer, to believe with you for salvation, salvation of uh, people, the salvation of your nation, the transformation of your nation, and I, I have agreed to do so. However, I wanted to do a little bit more than, than only pray. I believe in prayer, don't get me wrong. I, I, I understand the power of prayer, but I also wanted to take an opportunity uh, by this video to share my heart with you and share some things that God has put on my heart with you and so that's uh, we're gonna allow God to do some amazing things in your life God is a God of transformation and we want to uh, reach a generation of people God wants to change an entire generation of people and uh, he's in the business of transformation and we are transformed to be transformers and God wants to work powerfully in the nation of Pakistan he wants to save he wants to heal he wants to do miracles he wants he wants to show an entire generation his power and the reason he wants to do that is because when once you see his power and you experience his power then you as transformers you those of you who have been transformed and have experienced the transformational power of God in your life can then go forward and take the the message of transformation to the rest of the nation and this is what God really wants to do and I I, I feel a great uh, excitement there's a burden there's a, there's there's a pressure down in my spirit by the by the Holy Spirit for what he's doing in your great nation and this is a, this is your time this is your opportunity to do something which has never been done before in history and that's to that's to mold your nation and and God wants to take nations he doesn't want to just take people he doesn't want to just save and transform people he wants to save and transform whole nations of people God is a transformation specialist this is this is what God does and he gets a hold of the hearts of people and he changes them he transforms them he takes them out of darkness and he brings them into light he takes them out of the the the, the reign of terror he takes them out of uh, out of uh, the persecution he takes them out of uh, satan's grasp and power and he transfers them into the kingdom of god he translates them into his kingdom and in his kingdom there is love there is light there is peace there is hope there is joy for all who come to him he's he wants to transform you and today we want to encourage you that are listening to allow the power of the Holy Spirit to come into your life right now and to begin to do something in your heart begin to do something in your nature in your being and change you from what you are or were into what God wants you to be God wants you to be his ambassadors his representatives he wants to you to be like Jesus the Apostle Paul said uh, to everybody in the in in the epistles he said follow me as I follow Christ well Christ wants to be formed in you he doesn't want us to just know him he doesn't want us to simply know about him he wants us to become an extension of him he wants you to be made like him and to do that you need the transforming power of God to work in your life it's an awesome responsibility that we have preaching this gospel of the kingdom of God it's an awesome responsibility we have you and I together to reach a nation for Christ to preach the message of Jesus Christ and allow the transforming power of God to work in your nation you know the Bible says in the book of Psalms ask of me and I will give you 
the nations. We need to get down together on our knees and ask Him. And He will give us the nation when we will get down in prayer before Him. When we will plead with Him for our nation. Plead with Him for our leaders. Plead with Him for, for transformation to take place from the top down to the bottom. From the most important person down to the least important person of the nation. In God's eyes we're all the same. There, there, there is Nobody is better and nobody is worse in the eyes of God. So we need to intercede and pray together for the transformation, the salvation, the intercession, the intervening of God in the destiny of your nation, in the destiny of your people. Together we can manifest the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter that I'm here or that you are there, but to, what matters is that we get together on our knees. We get together and agree in prayer. Jesus, the, the word says where two or three are gathered together in my name. I am there. Well, the Apostle Paul said that he was not there present to, to pray with the Corinthians, but he said, when you gather together in prayer, my spirit will be with you, and we will agree together in prayer. What, when we come together in prayer, we unleash the very powers of of God, the very powers of heaven are are released. They're unleashed. The angels of God go into operation. The spirit of God begins to work, and transformation begins to take place because we join together. In the book of Acts, when the Holy Spirit was poured out, it is prefaced simply by this: when they all gathered together in one place, in one accord, then the Holy Spirit was poured out. When we join together in unity. In prayer, when we have the same purpose before God, it releases the hand of God, the miracles of God, into a nation. I just want to encourage you to keep pressing in, keep moving on, keep pressing forward. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. I know that we feel the pressure. I know that there's persecution. I know that there, there are troubles that take place. And, and uh, sometimes uh, we don't understand what, what's happened, that the powers of hell are, are released against us. But the Bible says that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. If God be for you, who can be against you? You can overcome, and I want to encourage you to overcome in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those who are listening to this right now. Lord, that you will give them the power of your Holy Spirit, that you will embolden them, that you will empower them, that you will give them the power and the miracles necessary to, to proclaim and to progress the kingdom of God and the message of the kingdom in the person of Jesus Christ. Father, that salvation will come to this great nation of Pakistan. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless all of you.